What up gamers? Dead guy here. And guess what? Small land is out and about and we are going to play. We're going to survive the wilds, my friends. I've been so excited for this game ever since I saw its release. It's kind of like Honey I Shrunk the Kids and Grounded. Like it's kind of in that realm of like you're a small individual shrink down to like bug size like that ladybug right here and you have to survive out in the wilds <clears throat> hence survive the wilds <laughs> so i'm stoked i'm ready to play let's get into it my friends uh this is gonna be episode one of a series i can't wait to do this more and i hope this series really takes off because i can tell i'm gonna really love this game and hope you guys enjoy me playing it but let's get into it boys and girls let's survive the wilds creatures will not attack you but will fight back if attacked um let's not let's do deadlands uh, we don't want online mode because we don't want anybody to join us just yet. So let's start. Let's get into it. I am stoked, guys. I've been waiting for this game for so long. Intrepid Vanguards. Your queen is ill. Gravely ill. This is why, as your king, I am asking for your help. Venture into the overland and seek out a cure, whatever the cost. Be bold, be brave, remain vigilant. From King Voldemort's speech to the Vanguard Corpse. We are in. And it's looking good. Wow, nice. Do a little. Yay, nice. Oh, that's cool. What does this guy got for me? Greetings. I've been pa tasked with meeting all Vanguards before they leave the burrows, as I have crucial information to impart. Okay, continue. Keep a keen eye trained for these owl effigies. They are scattered throughout the area and provide useful hints and tips to help you survive. Cool. Outside you'll find Captain Herney, but he will help you in your first days outside the burrows. Thank you. All right. The overland is rich with these natural resources and food, and some can only be harvested with the correct tool. You can craft different tools to harvest natural resources. Some res resources can only be harvested with specific types of tools, so be sure to learn the best tool for the job. Press V to engage antenna mode in order to help you spot harvestable resources much easier. V? Oh, nice, dude. Look at that, we got some like, superpowers. Got some wood. I could do a wood hatchet and a wood club now. Nice little sprout. Can I not pick this up? No. Builder's hammer. That's cool. Ooh, some resin. Let's definitely get some resin. Fire arrow, pet whistle. Okay, it's not. I guess I can't get that again. Bunch of resin. Yeah. Uh, okay, so there's resin down there. I just can't do anything with that. <clears throat> Nice, bunch of resin. I like the little noises, like little whispers going on while I'm in this mode. Alright, that was that was dope. Let's examine. Owl effigies. When you examine an owl effigy it reveals you useful pieces of advice. This info is automatically logged in your compendium, which you can access at any time from the inventory menu. Press tab to open the inventory and select the compendium section to see all the hints and tips that owl effigies have already revealed to you. Okay, so we want tab. Compendium. Compendium. Alright, the king's speech. Nice, we already did that. Tab and harvesting. Cool. Here's the map. Ernie's right there. Uh, the map's looking pretty massive. That's awesome. Look at we can actually craft these things. You know, you gotta do your standard wood hatchet, right? I mean, come on. Let's craft. Now, I'm gonna put that there. A club there. Simple bandage on three. 
Got some mushroom sticks. I like to put my food and stuff on the last bit. And it looks like we can wear some armor. Dopity dope. Cool, man. I like a little temperature system and status effects. Looks like I'm well nourished and sheltered. Dope. Alright. Let's go up and let's just see what we're working with here. Another one? Press tab to open the inventory and select the codex to help track all the workstations and items you can craft at each. You can also check on which armor sets can be crafted by which small folk once you seek them out. Okay, so it looks like you can only... Maybe you can craft uh, stuff on you, but you might have to find people to craft. Yeah, because Herney, it looks like he could craft us this padded set. Of, I mean, padded set. Look at all that. Wow, lots of armor. Sick. Like I said, guys, this is all early access, right? So, this looks like resin. Let's get some... Let's get some of all of this. Let's check B again. Yeah, we got that. A little sprouty sprout. A little sprouty sprout. Cool. It looks like we have another owl here. The Burrows is an extensive network of underground tunnels and caverns that is home to the small folk. The tunnels are incredibly intricate, with multiple levels and branching paths that stretch for hundreds of yards in all directions. They are lit by glowing crystal lamps and makeshift torches, creating a warm, inviting atmosphere. Cool, I'd hope so. Living in a tunnel would be sick. <clears throat> I was gonna say, here's something. What's up, Sentinel Aid? Insect eggs. Food at the root barracks has become pretty stale lately. Luckily, my sister brought me some fresh insect eggs this morning. Well, I just took those, so. They're mine. What do you got? All you need for a speedy repair is a good builder's hammer. Okay. Mold, mold everywhere. <clears throat> well, yeah, you're living in the tunnel and it's probably wet. What's up, Sentinel Car? Make sure to search out these owl effigies for useful information. Uh, couldn't have done it without you, buddy. I'm not gonna talk to all these guys. Can I steal your mushroom? No. This is sick, though. I'm loving the colors and the vibe. Everything is, is so cool, man. So cool. Here we go. We're outside. Yeah, buddy. Can I steal anything? No. Oh, yep. Sprout. Gimme, gimme, gimme. What up? Wow. A butterfly out in the distance. That's sick. Man, that is so cool. All right, screenshot. Let's go. Bunch of owl effigies, man. Got some twigs here. <clears throat> I'm gonna... You have to gather everything. That's how survival games work. I'm glad I don't have to, like, use an axe or anything just yet. Let's see what these guys have to say. Oh. What if it's first person? You can lose health due to a variety of factors, being attacked by hostile creatures, extreme temperatures, falling from a great height, or being malnourished. On the right side, you can recover health... By using healing items, keeping yourself well nourished or sleeping. So it looks like sleeping is going to be a factor. Um, sprinting, sliding, dodging, jumping, attacking, and blocking all consume stamina. Pay attention when it becomes low and manage it carefully to not leave yourself vulnerable. Thank you. I've played a survival game before. Oh, it looks like you can do free look. Nice. I'm starting to pick up on what I can... You know, grab as a resource. These are these little torches are, are sick, and to be honest, I can't wait, cannot wait to build a base. Let's see what kind of stuff we can build. That's my favorite thing to do in survival games is to build. So let's see. 
Press M to open up the map and see your position in the overland. The map will show you the location of <clears throat> other vanguards, your spawn location, your grave zones, and any custom markers you add. By selecting a marker, you can make it appear on the compass at the top of your screen. Cool. Um, I'm gonna make a marker on that guy. Dude, I love the the butterfly in the distance there. It's so sick. I've got hella fiber. Hella fiber. And you know, it blends so well into the background, like these these twigs and, and stuff that you wouldn't notice it normally if you didn't have that that power as a bug. Is there anything behind here? More twigs? Alright, I gotta stop picking up these twigs, because I guarantee you they're gonna be everywhere. It's normally how it goes with these games. Alright, Owl Effigy, tell me. Armor provides protection against different types of damage, can also keep you warm in cold weather. Some settlers in the Overland have the expertise to make new sets of armor for you, provided you give them the required materials. Sick. So you can't just get the materials, you have to actually take it to an individual that can make that set. I like that, so... It's an extra step in the process of, of getting better armor. Greetings, Vanguard. Welcome to the Overland. I am Captain Ernest Manikabi, but most small folks simply call me Ernie. What can I do for you? Um, could you craft me some armor? <laughs> sure, Vanguard, but you'll have to bring me all the necessary materials. That's fine. I'm pretty sure I have, right? A bunch of fiber. Oh, so going to them brings up your own crafting. I like that. All right, what do we have? Oh, light gauntlets or padded. So this is cold protection and pr probably just protection, it says. This gives me more movement speed. Maybe I could do a mix. Um, I'll do... Why don't I just make a set of each? Yeah, how about that? Didn't I make some legs? I thought I made leg armor. Or did I... Oh, no, I just did the leg gauntlets. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's talk to him some more, though. Uh, can I ask you some questions? Sure, what exactly do you want to know? What's the Overland? The Overland is what we would call the world on the surface. A very dangerous place. Here you won't find all the comforts of the burrows. You'll have to find food and construct shelter to survive. What tools? I suggest you start by crafting a wood club, a builder's hammer, to build yourself a shelter and a wood hatchet to harvest food and other natural resources from the Overland. You can craft these basic items without a workbench. You just need to have enough materials. The oak forest is rich in fiber and wood, so keep your eyes peeled for them. You can also get useful resources from hunting creatures. Cool. How do I build a shelter? First, you need to craft a builder's hammer. Once you have one, you can equip it to start building. Beware weather in the overland can damage your constructions unless they're covered by a roof. Okay. Where can I find food? You'll find food all around you. You just have to learn what can be eaten and what can't. Mushrooms and wild strawberries can be found right here in this very forest if you know where to look. You can also hunt the creatures of the woods. Some of this can be very tasty. Sacred Owl Vanguard, have you... Never eat anything but leaves. Some creature organs are delicious, and if you don't like them raw, you can always cook them. <clears throat> you should build yourself a campfire and try. First, you need to craft a builder's hammer. Once you have one, you can equip it to start building. Beware weather in the overland can damage your construction. Okay, you already said this. Okay. I have been expecting you. The elder Ludwig has requested your presence. Go see him at once. He's staying in the cave just down the hill. Nice. Thank you for all the valuable information. It's a giant axe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Make sure to eat and drink regular. Being well nourished will make you more resilient, energetic, as strong as well as stronger in combat. You can find delicious berries in the forest, hunt creatures in the overland for food, or even cook your own meals. 
You can eat food raw, prepare it, and other consumables using different types of cooking stations for a wide range of benefits. Keep an eye out for tasty recipes. Yeah. Anything I can... Yeah. Shmap. Here's the thing. I have to craft the rest of that armor. There's some resin. See, it'd be cool if... Ah! Right, I gotta make sure to get well nourished here. I can't help but gather, though. Oh, wait, these are all sprouts. I need the fibber. Give me fibber. Alright, <clears throat> let's eat. How does one eat? Oh no. It's raining now. Crap. I'm gonna just hang out here while I figure out how to eat. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Cool. I'm also sheltered. <clears throat> All right. Going for it. Wait a minute. No, I'm not. <laughs> I forgot I, I wanted to craft. No, no talking. I'm, s I'm sick of talking. I need crafting. Um, well, we probably need to be protected from the cold, to be honest. That is one. Aha. Right click. Okay, okay. I'm learning, I'm learning. Crazy, I still don't have enough to craft all of that. Feel like I've been. Like I've been doing a lot. Oh, that's cool. Man, I cannot wait to explore. Let's talk to this guy. <clears throat> Stay away from deep water. Small folk can't swim. Upon death, your respawner activated a better spawn location. A tombstone will appear where you died. You must try back to reclaim your inventory. Cool. Pretty normal stuff. <clears throat> I need this fiber because I need to craft... <clears throat> Excuse me. I need to craft the rest of that armor. <clears throat> See how well that blends in? He wouldn't even realize that that's there. I really wish it would just pick it up, though, as you, like, walk over it. So I don't have to keep tapping F to pick it up. So I'm going to grab all of this stuff because, once again, I need to make all of that armor. <clears throat> Looks like... There's a lot here as well. Very resource chunky. A lot of the armor and stuff, so I gotta make sure I'm... Oh. Interesting. Like, there's a reason they give you all this, right? At least I hope so. There's the cave for that guy, which... Listen, I'm all for doing. I just feel like I need that armor. Looks like there's more resin. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go talk to this guy. Wow. The Elder. What's up, dude? Finally, you're here. What are you doing in this overgrown cave? Oh. Okay. The jeweled clover key that unlocks the apothecary's chest has gone missing. I fear it may have been stolen. We're here to we're here trying to find some other means of opening the chest. Who's that? Melkar was the royal family's personal apothecary. 
This cave we're standing in was his personal laboratory here in the Overland. <clears throat> he would spend countless days searching the Overland for rare ingredients to use his potions. What's in the chest? Melkar the Apothecary's greatest achievements, the Elixir of Life. He claimed it could heal any ailment known to small folk. Cool. Do you know any idea who might have taken the Clover Key? He was locked in the Royal Vault, which I always... Which is always under heavy guard. The only, only the king and I are allowed entry. The theft was noticed when the queen became ill. The clover key was needed, but it could have happened some time ago. We tried forcing it. If we dare not. The chest is heavily reinforced. We could risk destroying the elixir within. I was told you requested my presence. <clears throat> now, yes, we've received troubling reports from overland settlers in the forest. It seems as though some of the creatures in the area have become unusually agitated and aggressive. Seek out these settlers and investigate their claims. It is an interesting coincidence, but we have no evidence to suggest, to suggest that there is a connection. <clears throat> You'll find the settlers scattered throughout the forest, so I marked the locations on your map. Be careful, Vanguard. The wilderness is filled with danger. Hernia and Khalif can help you survive in the Overland. Okay, I'm leaving. Cool. I don't think I can use these yet. Alright, remember, fiber... Oh, is this the chest? Fiber and twigs. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, walnut chest. Looks like a chest made of walnut. On the back, there are hinges. On the front, it has a strange cavity in the shape of a four-leaf clover. <coughs> okay. I don't want to try to open it. It's not going to do anything, I already know. All right, curiosity's got the best for me. Examine the cavity. Push the bottom of the. Ah, okay, yeah. So it looks like I need to find a four-leaf clover key. <clears throat> nice, got my axe. My club. The noise is kind of goofy. Wait a minute. <clears throat> yeah, no, we're gonna head that way. I just need to make more armor. Wait, oh, yeah, I forgot stamina is a thing. Craft me. Padded wrap. I have light gauntlets. Light leggings next. <clears throat> so here's my travelers. Travelers. Light. Padded. Well, padded I'm gonna keep on because it looks like it's cold. a bit, you know? Food, food. Materials. Nice. <clears throat> Let's go. Oh, I don't think I got this guy. Small folk are resourceful people, tools, weapons can be for crafting at the materials of the overland. Find crafting recipes to learn how to craft new items. So you're gonna need a crafting station to craft new items, but every vanguard knows how to craft some basic tools and weapons on the workbench. Crafting menu is C to see which ones you can craft from the get-go. Remember, I changed the controls to you guys, so don't try to copy my controls. So yeah, builder's hammer. We need that, and we're gonna do a torch. Ooh, nice. We unlocked the campfire, workbench, simple bed, and simple chest. Which we'll probably use when we're out there. We haven't even left the beginning area yet. It's crazy, man. There's so, so much already. <coughs> my, <laughs> my voice is getting weak from reading all this stuff. Man, let's take some food. More food. All right, temperature will generally drop at night and raise in the afternoon. Also, some creatures of the overland are nocturnal and will only come out at night. Watch out as night creatures are usually more dangerous than their daytime counterparts. Build a bed to set a new spawn point to have a place to sleep. 
You can only sleep at night, and for you to fall asleep, you must be sheltered, and there must be no hostile creatures around. Okay. Sounds good. Let's get that vision up here. Nice, nice. Now it's like, do I go back and do I get the... The last bit of armor I need from that guy? Or do I just YOLO? Oh. I think I'm just gonna... Oh, look, I got a wood hatchet. Oops. So I just, I just hold. Nice. Ah, uh, typical survival game stuff, right? Just sitting there harvesting. Alright, sick. Uh, how do I keep doing that? Yes, I knew there were more sprouts around. I knew it. Oh, it was E block? Oh, interesting. Okay. Cool. Alright. <clears throat> Look at that. Love that, man. Nice. Um. Cool, so it looks like I just kind of explore now. I just do what I want to do. Loving the vibe. It's really cool. Oh, maybe I was supposed to go a certain way, and I, and I didn't. Got lost gathering. Okay, yeah, I'm supposed to go right. Oh, I forgot I forgot some resin. I I need all the loot. I need the loot. <clears throat> loot is what helps you survive. I love the way that looks, man. That's so cool. I like that I could do I could just go up on these twigs and stuff like that, on these branches. And then just gather everything. That's so cool, man. Looks like it's daytime now. Oh yeah. Need I need edible mushrooms. Did I automatically pick that up? Looks like it. Weird. Where did like where did those disappear to? Alright, owl friend. Precipitation such as rain or snow can damage structures, so make sure your constructions are properly roofed to protect them from the elements. Rain also makes plants and mushrooms grow back faster after you harvest them. Furthermore, weather affects temperature, so be sure to always wear the appropriate clothes. Alright, well I got the cold stuff on, so I think I'm good. This is actually so cool, man. I definitely feel like I'm a little person in a big world. And then if that that's obviously what they're going for. And they nailed it right on the right on the head. Like look at that. That is so sick. <clears throat> oh, I see ladybugs. Okay, so I could probably kill them and get their stuff. I am honestly lost which way. Okay, here we go. 
There's just so much, man. Wave plant? Like, oh, wow. Needs crude hatchet. I have crude hatchet. Is this not? Oh, it's a wood hatchet. All right, I'm gonna guess resins everywhere, so I'm I'm gonna chill out on the resin. I'll get some sprouts. Yeah, this is also everywhere, so I'm gonna chill on that as well. There are five distinct weapon types. Your vanguard can wield blunt, edged, piercing, poison, and fire. The creatures you encounter in the overland have different strengths and weaknesses. When it comes to each, pay attention to the icon next to their health bar. Oh! Yo! Yo! Hold up! Ugh! 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 You guys need to chill. Oh no! I'm out of stammy. Yo, 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 yo. I'm just trying to talk to this guy, alright? Come on, man. You guys ganging up on me while I'm trying to talk to somebody? How rude. Wow, dude. What the heck? I, I was literally just... Oh, an ant skewer. Sick. I'm just trying to talk to him. That should be illegal. Alright, what do you want now? Don't tell me you want to mess with me. Come on, ladybug. Wow. I gotta heal. That was that was nuts. You know, uh rude for one. Okay. Um we gotta get into the overlands here and we gotta build ourselves a base. Maybe up by the woods by the owl statue would be kind of sweet. So this is a Mojave plant, crude hatchet. Can I craft a crude hatchet? I don't know. No. Just a wood. There's so many ladybugs, like I don't want to attack one and then just have them all come after me. Like. Oh crap, now it's raining. My health isn't even all the way up. Looks like there's some ants right there. Come on man, freaking ants. I haven't even gone all the way down here yet. When you dismantle a structure, all the materials used in it was used when it was originally built will be dropped to the as collectible loot. Damaged structures can be repaired at no cost. Cool. Just need a builder. Building hammer. Which I have. Which I'm going to take out. Okay, so you right click to make a structure. Um, okay. Let's talk to this guy. <clears throat> Use bow. Use bows and arrows to hit creatures from afar. This can be particularly effective against flying creatures. To use a bow, you must have both a bow and arrows equipped. Draw your bow holding left click and release it to shoot an arrow. Different bows have different characteristics. Some more accurate, more powerful than others. Fully draw the bow. Okay. I don't think I can even craft a bow yet. There's so much resin everywhere. Um, so what I'm going to do is go up here as much as I can. I guarantee you there's something for me up here. <clears throat> like, look, I like that you can do this. Like, look at this. This makes building, uh, just... The, the possibilities are endless. Uh, I see... Is that a beehive? That's a honeycomb right there. Right there. West. Okay. Freaking honeycomb. Ooh, 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 food. Give me food. Yeah, nice. 
edible mushrooms, bugs and limp, all the stuff. Nice, dude. Thank you, Owl. I appreciate you. <clears throat> Small folk believe owls possess magical powers and worship them as some kind of divinity. Idols, statues, and decorations are crafted in their honor. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I appreciate the, the assistance and the food. Can I craft a bow and arrow yet? No. I cannot. Okay. <clears throat> well. Where to make the base? That's the question. I feel like everybody's gonna make a base on top of that wood statue, or that owl statue, so I'm not gonna do that. I do need to eat though, so I'm gonna eat. I wanna find a place to build a base. And then once we find that place, we'll end the episode there. But we are going to find a place. So, anybody wondering, by the way, the combat feels a little weird. Uh, maybe it gets better later on. It was a little clunky feeling. I don't really know all the controls either. Oh yeah, I should have blocked too. That would be a good idea, huh? Maybe it's just me. But I'm going to use the club for right now to protect myself. Oh, look at that. <laughs> a giant key. Ooh, a screw. You can, you can gather that. Oh, look at that. I could do like a weird jump. That's a grasshopper, man. That's cool. I bet he does not mess around, though. No. Okay, I remember... Yep. All right, let's try this time. Oh, okay. So you get a, a right swing as a heavy. Come here, you little bug. Ooh. More screws. Come here, mother sucker. I hear more of them. All right, they're. I don't get. I don't understand. What did I do to make the other ones mad at me? Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. I'm sorry. I I I mean you no harm. Okay, yeah, I do. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. That was bad. That was horrible. Alright, so attack me. They're everywhere. Oh, you can't just attack me and leave. Wow. They did. They just did that. They attacked me and left. You guys are bullies. I don't like the ants. They're bullies. All right. Okay, hold up. I'm I'm seeing a cool spot. Listen, man. I I thought we talked about this. Oh, I could... Wait, what? Yeah, buddy. Alright, guys, I'm getting the hang of it. It's not as clunky as I thought. It was me. I'm the problem. Should we do... Like, I really want to build a base, like, up there or something. Like, just somewhere... Some are cool. But it says deep water, I'll die. Okay, wait, yeah, I probably shouldn't just jump across since there's a bridge literally right there. <clears throat> Stamina is very low, guys. It is very low. I am actually going to put on.
I, I put it on I put on the light stuff. So for some reason my recording might get laggy when I open up my inventory. I don't know why, but it overloads my GPU. Um something I gotta figure out on my end. So if it gets laggy when I open up my inventory, I am sorry. Looks like this stuff spawns back. So yeah, this stuff's just everywhere. Um Yeah, see that I don't want to mess with that. But I do want these edible mushrooms. Okay, just leave me alone, Grasshopper, please. I mean you no harm. No harm. And uh, I know you guys recall in the beginning, you can have it to where the insects don't attack you randomly like they're doing me. Ooh, I don't care. I wonder what this stuff does. But what fun is that? What's a survival game if shh stuff doesn't attack you? As long as this guy doesn't attack me, we're cool. We're cool, man. We're cool. Just, you know, just... Ooh, poisonous mushroom. <clears throat> we'll stay over there. We chilling. We chilling. Gonna harvest and look. At, okay, look. If you were an ant, you would have demolished me right now. But I can tell you're chill. I'm chill. Let's just be chill together, man. Look at. I mean, you know harm. You know that. Thank you. Thank you for being cool. Thank you for being cool and understanding, grasshopper. You are looking at me. Okay. Yeah, just, just, just stay there. We're, we're chill. Yo. All right. So this is looking like it. This is looking like it, gamers. Since we're a small person in a big world, we gotta build up. Always build up. All right. That's the nature of this game. So that even over there by that tree is cool. Okay. Big ant. Ah, not cool. Wait, why, why, why can I go in there? Bruh. Okay. Dude, come Come on. Oh, dudes. Dudes. Friends. Friends. I mean you no harm. Look at me, Grasshopper, we're chill. Why can't you be chill? Grasshopper, save me. Be chill, please. Oh. Yeah, okay. I... N I, maybe I shouldn't go left. Let me see if I can craft bandages at least. Can I craft a freaking bandage? No. How do I craft a bandage? Ah, oh, man. Uh, yeah, so going left, not a good idea. Can I go right? Uh, no, I see some ants up there. Your boy is just trying to find a place to build. Yeah, I'm hungry and thirsty. I gotta add some food to my inventory, but hello, I don't have any. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why my encoding uh, it's overloaded when I open up the tab. I think it might be an optimization type of thing. It also could be my GPU, I don't know. But once again, sorry for the lag. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna just do what probably everybody does just so I can get started. I'm gonna go up here and I'm just gonna build. I'm gonna build a little area. 
I gotta get started here. You know, I gotta get a nice foothold in this area. Because I go left, I get attacked by giant ants. I go right, I get attacked by normal ants. I'm starting to notice a trend here that the ants are the problem in this game. So, let's go ahead. And build... Simple bed. Cool. Now we're gonna use the campfire, alright? And we're gonna do some ant skewers and some mushroom snakes. I like that I could just make as many as I want. That's cool. Mushroom steaks, seven. Ant skewers, and then on eight. What did I have on three? Ah, bandages, yes. I can't make it. I wonder if I can make some though. I, yeah, I wonder if I can make some. If I craft the workbench. Can I craft just a workbench anywhere? As well. It says collision. Oh. How is that not colliding with stuff? <laughs> That's what I want to do. There we go. We'll make a little workbench right here on the side. Oh, I could do a, a stone cutter now? Here we go. Simple bandage. Yeah, I mean, for some reason, my GPU doesn't get overloaded with uh, doing this, so that's interesting. I think that has something to do with... Ooh, what sword? I think it has something to do with the way the game's optimized, but I should definitely have, like, ten of these. Eight, nine, oh, no. Make some arrows, I guess, since we got oh, a pet whistle. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I could smelt the screws into the metal. Um, I should probably be wearing my padded stuff. Because it might be... It, it's probably colder out. Yeah. I need to eat. Oh, nice. Those mushroom steaks. Okay, yeah. Those are nice. Alright, cool. So, we got all set up. Um... Yeah. Alright, guys. Well, that's going to be episode one. Uh, <laughs> thank you for struggling with me. I appreciate it. I'm going to try to get this out as soon as I possibly can. And then that way we can get on to episode two. Um, but yeah, I've been having a lot of fun, actually. Especially getting attacked by ants everywhere I go. Whatever. I don't hate them. They're just trying to survive like me. But I really appreciate all the support, gamers. I will see you all in the next one. Peace.